is the Dacia Duster Journey. Now, its heritage comes from Romania, but its current parents, Renault, come from the heart of France. So it's clear to see that the Dacia has been on quite a journey. My name's Duncan Vincent. Welcome to the Arnold Clark YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, and please hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And let's go and get jiggy with the journey. As we take a look at the front of the journey, a few of the things I do like is the headlights. It's got nice detail in there. Now, there are daytime running LED headlights in there, and you can see some nice detail that almost make you see the Dacia logo. As you come across into the new revised grille, the new revised Dacia logo is there as well, and the hexagonal shapes make you think of a 4x4. Now, this SUV does come in 4x4, so it does make you think of an off-road kind of vehicle. It's got lovely fog lamps down the bottom there, and ultimately, it's starting to build its own identity. Let's take a look down the side of the Dacia Duster Journey, and it's a nice colour. It's Arizona orange. That's one thing to like. The wheels, another thing to like. They're 17 inch, they do go up to 19 inch, and they've got a high profile on the tyre. They're a 60 profile, so if you do happen to bump into the kerb, you're probably not going to damage that wheel. There's a grey sill that goes right to the back of the car, and it also comes up into the wing, which is quite a nice feature. Door mirrors, blind spot detection underneath, which shows through the glass. They're not the biggest of mirrors, but you do see enough of things out the side here. As we come to the back, you have got nice deep privacy glass in the back here, and the quartz roof bars, they're lovely at the top there. They're a nice finish on the top of them, and you've got the duster emblem in the top as well. This is a diesel version, and the filler cap is here, and that's opened by a little toggle switch in the driving compartment to keep it nice and safe and secure. Finally, we come to the back of the Dacia Duster journey and we have a look and think, yeah, it's quite nice. It's got a roof spoiler up here and an internal light inside there for braking, which keeps you nice and safe. The lights on the back are LED and they've been redesigned and you almost see the logo of the Dacia emblem in there as well. And overall, it does give you that kind of 4x4 look and feel at the back. Inside the boot, it gives you 445 litres of boot space. A 60-40 split in the seats, you put them flat, you get 1,478 litres of space. There's lots of things to tie down in there, lots of tie down hooks, and there's even a 12 volt power supply over the other side. So that's the back, that's the boot, let's jump inside. We find ourselves inside the comfy Dacia Duster now, and heated seats, should you need them in the winter, comfy heated seats as well. And I get it in the perfect place, and the steering wheel is nice and comfortable as well, along with the pedals. There's no footrest, so that's not good for Duncan. Certainly doesn't get on the love list, never mind the like list right now. But I do like the steering wheel. My hands don't touch any of the buttons here. They're not encroaching and pushing and changing any settings, and that's just perfect. As we look across, we can see great vision out the front. It's got quite narrow pillars, so it all looks lovely. There's good storage in either door bin, and there's a glove box across here as well. It's not the biggest glove box, but that, again, is not going to stop you buying the car. Three drinks holders here, two, and then one at the front, and almost a little espresso cup there. If you're drinking the coffee in the morning, that's where your espresso cup would go. USB chargers at the front there, and a 12 volt supply, and this floatable moving armrest as well, which gives you a great bit of uh, option for where you actually want to have your arm resting. There's an eight inch media panel here. It has got smartphone integration, and to control that through your smartphone, there's an other, another stock over here, the third stock, which lets you go through volume controls mode and change the source. It's all done through Bluetooth. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on the Bluetooth wireless setup there, but it's nice and easy to operate. You've got a button which can let you see the cameras, front camera, back camera, and side. So four cameras on this car, and there's also parking assist, there's eco mode, and there's stop start down there as well. The actual controls, along with the air control unit down there, the air conditioning, the controls are done on the dials, and you see what temperature you've got actually illuminated in the actual dial itself. That's a cool touch, I do like that. But ultimately, once we're in the front here, it's nice and comfortable, let's jump in the back. This is the backseat action that you guys asked for and requested in the cars that we show you, and the duster straight away has plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, and it's nice and comfortable in the actual seat. USB chargers down there for your passengers in the back, and there's extra storage in the seat area on either side. Either side of the seat as well has ISOFIX, easy to use, easy to get, and you can actually see them as you get in. 
The privacy glass is a big tint and you've got electric windows in the back as well. The big deep tint actually keeps the temperature in the back of the car down. You will need to lift your headrest up once you get in here, but it's everything you would expect a modern day car to have. It's nice and comfy. Unfortunately, it doesn't have an army. So you just got to pretend that's here as you're driving along the road, being a pasture in the back. But that's the back, it's all good. All that's left for us to do now is to go and drive this car on some lovely Dumfries and Galloway roads. So let's go. Well, my first impression of the Dacia Duster, this journey edition that we're in, is quite nice. It's comfortable, it's not making a lot of noise as we drive along the road. We're only doing 45, 50 miles per hour just now. But everything seems just okay. The wind noise is minimal, the road noise is minimal, and the seats are very comfortable. And as I said, I always like to get the steering wheel in my correct position, and I've managed to get that. I am missing my footrest, so that's one of these things. We'll let that go. But first impressions of it, pretty good going, actually. It's front wheel drive. You do get them in four wheel drive with the bigger engine, but we've got the one litre diesel engine here, not to 62, it's 13 seconds, just a tick over 13 seconds. So it's not the quickest thing, but it does drive along the open road with great ease. It has got six gears, so when you're in sixth gear and you're on cruise control, perfect. Unfortunately, it's not adaptive cruise control, but again, it is cruise control and it does work for you. Visibility out of the Dacia Duster is pretty good, actually. The, the, the front window is huge, obviously. The pillars are very slim. You can see over that dashboard and bonnet, even when the seat's in its lowest position, and then you bring your eyes up towards the rear view mirror and the window at the back is huge. So again, visibility, even with the passion in the back, is very good. For safety features, well, the, the car comes drizzled in all sorts of safety features. You've got standard, as you'd imagine, airbags, front side and passenger airbags. It's got electronic stability control. It's got trash control, blind spot detection, all there for your safety needs in this car. So visibility, good. Safety features, good. And of course, another feather in the Dacia Duster's cap is it's already an award winner. It's got two awards to it. One from What Car and one from Auto Express for basically the best car SUV in its price range. It is a small compact SUV and you know, who is it for? Who's it badged at? Well, remember the boot figures that we gave you. It's fairly large in the back there and you've also got the roof bars on. So there is possible luggage storage space up there. It's the type of thing a young family could take the kids and the dog up into the highlands or down into the lowlands or anywhere you want to go for a camping holiday. It has got good range on it, it drives on the road fine, and as you've seen, the space in the back is perfect. So who is it for? Is it for you? Is it for me? It could well be. So as we come bouncing along a bit of a country road, one thing you do notice, it soaks up the bumps really well. It feels nice from bump to bump, from hollow to hollow, it's, it's, it's really good. The steering's very direct, you get a nice efficient turn the minute you put any input into steering, the car does want to change direction. And the pedals feel nice as well, the clutch is extremely light, I must say that, it feels like there's almost nothing there, but it does work. It does have a lovely biting point and a nice feel. The brakes are strong and progressive and they get better the more you use them. And I like it. I have had it bouncing about a few times as I've maybe gone a little bit too fast on a country road and you want stiffer suspension, but once it's fully loaded with everybody on board, yeah, it's good fun. With an SUV, you might be thinking, well, what's the turning circle like? Well, it's 10.7 metres. Remember the Renault Austral? It was 10.1 and it had rear wheel steer to help it in situations like that. This comes from the same family as the Renault, and if you want to have a look at that video, hit the top of the screen just now, you'll be able to see that. 10.7 metres, that's tight. You've probably seen some people have top five best things about cars or top five things that they don't like about cars. But inside here, I've got some slick features and this is the top six. One camera is featured here and another one here. How are you doing? Remember me? And now let's head on to number two on the list. Blind spot detection. Let's move on to number three. I just love the steering wheel. There's no clutter. Let's move on to number four. Tinted privacy glass to protect your view. Let's move on to five. A cheeky little 60-40 split in the back seats. On to number six. And finally, the colour. 
Arizona Orange, and that's my Slick 6 for the Dacia Duster. We've done country driving on single track roads. We've done town driving around very small villages and large towns. And finally, we find ourselves on the motorway doing the national speed limit. The road noise is very, very low, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of wind noise either. Even with the large area of the door mirrors and the roof bars, very small wind noise. And the car quite happily tramps along the road, munching up the miles. So far, so good. I move my armrest, get my arm out, and enjoy the miles in the duster. That's my view of the Dacia Duster, and I hope you agree with me. We need to get some comments in the box from you guys. Let us know below. And in a time where everything in life is so hectic, simple pleasures can be great. And I'm a simple man, and I need some simple things. And the Dacia Duster journey is perfect for me. This has been Nano Clark YouTube channel. I've been Duncan Vincent. I do hope you've enjoyed this. Like and subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell icon so you never miss a notification from us. Until next time, guys, safe driving.